Hello everyone, my name is Adriana from Fitness Journey and today we'd like, I'd like just to talk about um, how to measure your inch loss. Um, almost every, every single fitness in, um, professional these, day, uh, these days say do not use your scales, it's just because they're not the, the right uh, measure of your um, progress. So I'd say, so if you can see on this picture, um, so we're going to the only thing is what you have to do uh, before you start uh, your training um, or any kind of program is basically on day one, on early in the morning. Um, this is the first thing that you should do because it's basically your stomach is empty. Um, so you need to have a tape measure. Um, you can do uh, inches or centimeters. Um, you need to have the sheet where you're going to write these areas. Um, you have to do the first lap. Well, it doesn't matter, but you need to do first one side and then you, you can do the other side when you're doing a, your arms and legs um, so this is the first thing that you have to do uh, you're going to measure the bicep area um, I'd recommend that you are starting uh, from your shoulder bone to your uh, elbow so you actually the measure the halfway and you just like mark it with a pen Obviously, it's recommended to do without clothes. You can just do it in your underwear. Um, so uh, you basically, um, the, so just to measure it, and and then you just uh, take um, the inches or centimeters, how much it, how much it is, and then you just write it down. The chest area, um, you can just always have the same bra, and uh, you just uh, take it around the nipple area, so that you know that every time you do it from um, the same uh, space, it's in the same place. Then the next one is waistline. You actually do it uh, around the slimmest area. Um, around belly button, it's basically just horizontal line around your belly button. Um, if you don't know... Um, how so if you don't know how it looks but it's always good like to do it in front of the mirror so you can see it just do it really horizontal line and then around the hips and um, you can just do exactly in the central area of your hips so you can work with you can feel those hip bones and the thighs um they say that you should kind of measure it eight inches or like 20 25 centimeters away from the top of your uh patella or like an um that kind of bone in your knee so that you actually know uh, to measure it every time from the same spot because sometimes especially with the thigh area lots of people um, do measure it from the different areas so this is it um, it's always recommended to do it at the beginning you can do it every two weeks or every four weeks um, and this is basically uh, and always do it in the morning so I hope this helps speak to you soon bye